University of Alabama basketball player Darius Miles has been charged with capital murder after authorities say he and another man were involved in the shooting death of a woman near campus on Sunday morning. According to Tuscaloosa Police Captain Jack Kennedy, the federal shooting happened on the Strip, a popular stretch of road near the school that's lined by bars and restaurants. Kennedy said authorities were alerted to the shooting at around 1.45 a.m. after officers had responded to a vehicle at the Walk of Champions at Bryant Denny Stadium. Kennedy, in a news conference Sunday night, told media members a 23-year-old woman, Jamie Harris, was dead in the car. The driver of the vehicle, Kennedy said, told Officers, their car had been hit by gunfire earlier in the night, adding that they shot back in self-defense. According to Kennedy, police revealed surveillance video and interviewed multiple witnesses and identified Miles and 20-year-old Michael Lynn Davis, who's not affiliated with the University of Alabama as the suspects. Both Miles and Davis were charged with capital murder and arrested Sunday evening. Kennedy said Miles and the alleged victims did not previously know each other, explaining at this time it appears that the only motive was a minor altercation that these individuals had with the victim as they were out on the strip. Miles played in six games for the Crimson Tide this season, logging nine points and nine rebounds. On Saturday, just hours before the shooting, the school had ruled him out of the season due to an ankle injury. By Sunday evening, his player profile had been removed from the university's website. First and foremost, we extend our deepest sympathies to the families and friends of the victim from last night's incident, UA Athletics said in a statement Sunday night. We were made aware of the recent charge against student-athlete Darius Miles, and he is no longer a member of the Alabama men's basketball team. Athletics, in conjunction with the university, is fully cooperating with the investigation. The school added in a statement of its own, We are grieved by the incident that occurred near campus last night and extend our deepest condolences to the victim's family and friends. After further investigation, Dario Smiles has been accused of providing the firearm to the gunman who shot and killed a woman near campus over the weekend. This according to cops in new court documents. Police say in the filings made public on Tuesday that after Jamie Harris was killed by gunfire on the strip in Tuscaloosa in the early hours of Sunday morning, Mouse admitted to providing a 20-year-old man named Michael Davis with a handgun prior to the shooting. Cops claim Davis shot at a 23-year-old woman while she was in the passenger seat of a vehicle that had been stopped on the popular stretch of road near the Crimson Tide campus. They say in the documents, witnesses identify Davis as the gunman and that there is surveillance video of it all. Harris died shortly after being struck by one of the bullets, cops say.